just gonna make sure uh, the thing is off. Yeah, it is um now. It's gonna see something. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now let's go to Twitch. Uh, one second. What's this? Oh. Just a bunch of nothing. Um, I really want to do that. Yeah, it's like, who cares? I know it's over, but... Yeah, who really cares? Oh, cool. I get in, and they're one of those. Um... Oh shoot, I forgot to do that, didn't I? Oh well, I'll just do that later. Wind and geo. Um, do I have wind? Oh, uh, where's Geo? I know I didn't. Oh, there she is. I was just gonna say, I know I didn't freaking do that. Um, water. Nice. go to Amazon Prime okay one second yeah I completely forgot that to go to uh, Amazon Prime because I want to just uh, do a code. Forgot um to do it. Who really care? Um, Genshin. Oh, offer ends. Okay, I gotta read on this code. Um, where? 
Then they go to account. Uh, then they read them. They like it shows nothing, so who really cares? <laughs> um. Um, that, okay. God, I need to put this phone so I could see it. Uh, you. Yeah, I think this is the one they use codes. No one look. Um. There we go. Yeah, it shows nothing. Obviously, if I click on the uh the more of the account it does but it doesn't even show web pages so who cares um okay there we go um now i need to go back to twitch Oh, uh, where is Twitch? Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, how many things do I have? So, what? What's this for? Oh, I have no. Rewards. So, how much is it? Three? Yeah, that's two more days plus. The day's done over yet, so three. Um. Oh, yeah, I remember. What are you going to do? Um, for this, I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I need 1440. Uh, uh, this. Should I do this? Uh, probably just one at a time. Let's see this nonsense. It's a bow, yay! And this is a another bow, cool. This is another goddamn bow. Holy cow! Come on, give me something. A bow. Probably. Oh, it's a sword. They changed it. Another bow. Let's see. Oh, a book. Uh, let's see now. Oh no, another bow. I got screwed. <laughs> I got absolutely nothing. God damn it. Oh, I could do it one more time. I'll try. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, another book. Yeah, I keep getting screwed so goddamn hard. Um. What is she like, though? Yeah, I was just getting screwed over and over and over. It was just so dumb. Like, that's why I just... I said it before, but I seriously don't, uh... Like, put money in this game because, like... It's just so stupid, man. It really is. You're in for a little shock. Um, like how much the game doesn't give you. Oh, it does. Don't get frostbite. It already was low enough. Oops. My B. Uh, so. Um. Uh, no. Oh, one second and you need to take a sip of water. Okay, there we go. I tried to do that with one hand, but it's so hard <laughs> to try to, um... Obviously, do the thingy with one hand. Wait, what's this? Oh, a ley line.
I'm just seeing what I need. Oh. Oh. She could level up one more time. Um, oops, I don't mean that. Yeah, I need more fire stuff, more fire stuff. Oh, more of that. Oh. Yeah, he does a running level up actually. What about her? If you ever want to trade. Oh, he doesn't even level up. Oh, she. Level up. Oh, she needs all of that though. Oh, I'm pretty sure about that. She needs more of that. Him, he doesn't need level up at all. Hmm. Yeah, they all don't need level up. They could. But I don't know, it would be kind of a waste. This should be where Kokomi said to meet her. Do you still remember this place? Paimon remembers we came by here last time we visited Watatsumi Island. That was back when you did your stint as captain of Swordfish 2. Hmm. Paimon's curious whether the Resistance troops still remember you. Things on the island must have changed a lot since then. Oh, shall we take a look around? If the enemy outnumbers you, seek their weakness and Yeah, if they them. do that, if I'll probably enemy, help. Seek unequivocal domination and crush them. Marauders on the waterfront are supplied by sea. Burning their ships is the path to success. That won't be the so best solution, but it will be something. From the directives left behind by Her Excellency, we can surmise that a Fatui ship is moored nearby. This explains their aggressive posture. We could split into two teams, one to draw their attention, and the other to circle around behind enemy lines and set fire to their ship. They'd have nowhere to run. Then again, Madame Kokumi made clear that we are not to split up without sufficient forces. We'd risk being picked off one by one until our whole line of defense disintegrated. Sir, shall I send for reinforcements? <sighs> I doubt there's time. Based on their movements, they'd likely be gone before our troops arrived. Her Excellency's directives also stipulate that we should wait in ambush and avoid making the first move. Since we lack sufficient troops, I don't think we can afford to engage the enemy at this time. Sir, we're just gonna stand by and watch them leave? Surely there must be another way. Her Excellency's directives also state help may arrive when all seems lost. As for where this help is supposed to come from, I... Hey, Goro! What are you guys up to? Captain, you've returned to Watatsumi Island. That's great! Her Excellency's directives are as reliable as ever. You've arrived just in time. Recently, the remnants of the Fatui forces have been unusually active. We've been monitoring their movements, waiting in ambush here. Unfortunately, we don't have the manpower to split into two teams. Can we ask you to keep them occupied? 
hard to say no when it's the Fatui. Whatever they're planning, we won't let them get away with it. Good. There's not a moment to lose. We'll go behind enemy lines and sabotage their ship. Let's meet back here afterward. Watch yourselves. We'll be back shortly. Seems like the Resistance still remembers us. Come on, let's help them get this situation under control. Um... Okay, got new mail. That's probably from... Yeah. The chicken reward. Oh, damn. There we go. We were lucky to have you here. We'd have no way to prevent their escape without you. What's that you're holding? Is it the directors from Kokomi? Let's hide and see. Oh, wow. This is a whole book. Is it all Kokomi's directors? Yeah. Well, no, not all of them. I have five more volumes with me. Are you serious? Her Excellency always plans for every scenario. Plus, these are her general operational directives, which are more comprehensive than most. Still, we're fortunate to have them. They make sure we're prepared for every eventuality, no matter how complex. Oh. Understanding every eventuality sounds tiring enough, let alone writing them all down. Must have taken Kokomi a heck of a long time. Captain! Are you back on Watatsumi Island to lead Swordfish 2 again? We've all been feeling your absence. Her Excellency says that now is a time of peace, and that we should reduce the size of the military and focus on helping the civilian population return to normal life. About half of us are still organized into task forces yeah. supporting the platoons. The other half have been given various other functions like patrol, construction, and farming. Of course, not everyone's happy about it. The other day, an old buddy of mine was grumbling about being forced to build houses. Said they'd have to drag him away from the front line, kicking and screaming. <laughs> the spirit of the resistance is alive and well, huh? Anyway, Wait, where's my... Oh, there's my other phone. Is this boy? I believe Her Excellency is currently at Boro Village. There were reports of a possible disturbance over there. If I'm not mistaken, her Excellency has gone to deal with it in person. We should probably get going ourselves. 
And, uh, <clears throat> also, on your way over, please check in on the soldiers. I'm sensing a growing unease among them, but I don't know what's causing it. They won't say. They used to tell me all their concerns, but whatever this is, they're keeping it hidden. I don't like it one bit. I suspect there's trouble afoot. Sounds good. Kinda was just thinking it'd be good to see everyone again. Ready when you are. Oh um, yeah. With um, can my legs off machine go? That would be nice. Uh, what I would like to do is, um, obviously do this. I don't know for how long, like two hours, two, maybe three hours. I don't know. Uh, because... Uh, that. Wait, did I leave my apron outside to dry? Yeah, freaking um thing, stupid thing. Uh, the quick release. So, I don't know. So, it's... Uh... I don't know why I've watched those. Because who really cares? Most of them aren't like fanboy videos. Well, they are, but not hardcore fanboy videos. Where it's like, oh, I was with PlayStation and moved to Xbox. Yeah, I th uh, when um, I watch those videos, I think like it's really um, hardcore fanboys, but no. Not all the time, at least. Because, like, they do bring up good points. Like, I'm not gonna lie. They really do, but... I don't know. I think there's a severely less reason to buy an Xbox because... You could play Xbox games on your phone now. So, like, uh, why have an Xbox console? It's like, um, I got, obviously, I got the Xbox before all of this. Like, uh, there was Game Pass, but... It wasn't really a thing when I got it. Like, it was a thing, but they weren't pushing it. Until, uh... Like, a, around a year after I got the console, they started pushing Game Pass. I think so. Because I got, uh, my console in, I think it was 
June 2018 and it wasn't until June 2019 where they really started pushing Game Pass I think I don't remember I honestly don't Obviously, Game Pass is more of a thing in 2019, but it still wasn't for me, and even now, it's still not for me. And I know the video said, like, oh, Game Pass is a deal breaker, and it's like, um, no, it isn't. Because all the games I want are freaking you have to buy them. Like, um, I want Tales of Rise, but that's too freaking expensive. I'll wait on a sale or something. It's not on Game Pass. Um, Freaking obviously, that's not going to come to Game Pass because it's not even on Xbox. Um, Neptunia Virtus Stars. Uh, then there's... I don't know if Atelier is even on Xbox. But yeah, there's the Atelier games. Like Atelier Ryza and Ryza 2 I want to play. They're not on Game Pass. I don't even think they're on Xbox. So it's like, to me, Game Pass like is neat. It's really not something I'm interested in. But of course, if you like indie games, obviously it's gonna be like right up there. But it's also, I think, like, people are saying Game Pass is so great. Just because, I don't know, it's, it's popular and it's sad, but YouTubers follow trends more than anything. And it's like, I understand why. It's like, sure, I respect the hustle, whatever. But when um, you're saying fake stuff that you don't really believe, it's like, I don't know, will you just believe anything someone tells you? And it's like, I'm not saying they're wrong or anything. But it's like... The rain has stopped. Come with me, let's pick some matsutake. Uh, yeah, it's like, I just don't think they're thinking straight, to be perfectly honest. But that could be just me. Nice and spicy. Yeah. Oh, just because I learned that there's um a z there's zero need for two consoles. Like, uh, there's zero need to buy two consoles, I should say. And even more so now. Like, if you could just freaking wait a little bit longer until, like, winter, 
uh, get, um, you could get a freaking Xbox One and stream a series games on it. It's like, since you have that option, there's an even less of a reason, like you said, to get an Xbox. But it's just like, I don't know, it's like, uh, some people will believe anything people tell them. It's really weird. Use your own head, that's what it's there for. Life goes on. And that being said, would I love that if Sony did the same thing with like Xboxes? Sure, yes. But do I think um, the quality would go down? For sure I would. I do think that. Obviously they're gonna... They would have those... Uh, like games as a service so they could recoup their losses then make a big budget game but it's like I don't want to see that to be honest with X I mean with Sony uh that they get into games as a service I may be stupid but I like I may be dumb when saying that but I don't because like sure a game like this is uh cool I guess but it's like I'm not into games as a service even this game is like it gets freaking boring like I usually only play like every what every month well, every six weeks well I shouldn't say that because there's sprinkles here and there but uh even between those six weeks but Obviously, within those six weeks is a major update, so obviously it's a lot better, but yeah. Wait, if I just pay freaking... Oh, it is you! Oh, you have our gratitude. Uh, seventy dollars was sucks. Well, ninety. In Canada, uh, that sucks. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, nothing that uh, Game Pass or Xbox is offering is matching up to the level quality Sony is. It comes close, sure. In fairness, the battle isn't long over, and well, perhaps it isn't quite over. But for it's you like, know what I mean? um, every single person looked death in the face that day. So there's it's Forza Horizon. I might play freaking uh, Halo Infinite. 
uh, not likely. But then, the next game I'm kind of looking forward to is Stalker 2, which comes in April. And all the more so now that you're back. Seriously, if there's ever anything you need, just say the word. What a nice guy. Let's go ask the money. Obviously, around four months uh, later, um, well, after uh, Forza Horizon, around four months, and it's like, I guess that's cool. But it's like, um, yeah, I really don't know, it's just, I feel more obligated to play it because I have an Xbox. Because I have the Xbox on, uh, my gaming shelf, it's not plugged in at all. The cords are right there, but it's like, I don't want to plug it in. I don't know why. Well, mostly because there's just nothing to play on it. I keep to myself, mostly. They're all too rowdy for me. We're at peace now, finally. And I, for one, intend to make the most of it. Well, that's not exactly true. Two things only. The sun. There's games to try on it, I'll say. No play, try. I'll tell you someone you could ask, though. San Gonamia. She knows everything. Because even though how good Psychonauts 2 is, apparently, like what we'll review say it is, like I may not like it, I don't know. It's like, and I'm not really looking forward to it. Uh, there's Astria ascending I'm looking forward to, but I mean, peace talks. I don't know if it's going to be worth to it. Exactly. Everyone knows you can't trust the Tenryo Commission. I heard they've been secretly coordinating with the Fatui and plan to continue the attacks. I Wait, for real? guess sure I'll do this? that because it's oh, at no cost to me, seriously. They caught them conspiring together firsthand. I knew it! The Tenryo Commission are a bunch of crooks. I'll never change. Honestly, it's kind of naive for Her Excellency to take them at their word, isn't it? Shh, keep your voice down. Someone's coming. Hey there! What you talking about? Uh, Captain! Yeah, I because like you said before, I got... Uh, Microsoft rewards points I could just use and no, let's not mention it. like oh cool advisors, it had like I yet. use uh sure that and from. it has right. we should uh, a zero uh, in effect. Back to Island, Captain. Nothing to report here. Everything is a okay. Her Excellency should be in the village at present. Head straight over if you wish, Captain. Because I didn't pay for frickin' Game Pass at all. Like, sure, maybe I'm earning uh, them a little bit of money because um, I'm frickin' like using um, their browser so they get a bit of money from like traffic but admit it we know whatever secretly supplying the Tenryo commission with goods purchased on Watatsumi Island I knew something was off about a Tenryo commission merchant doing business here so what do you have to say for yourself huh I'm innocent ha you're as guilty as they come you never should have been allowed to set foot on this island let alone do business here Take him away. Um, oops. Wait, Coco me, there you are. Something's going down over here. You should take a look, Pronto. 
Your Excellency, this merchant is suspected of criminal activity, so we seized him for questioning. Our surveillance shows that in his whole time here, he has made numerous purchases, but no sales. And yet, he has no stock in his possession. We believe it's highly probable that he has been supplying the Tenryo Commission behind the scenes. I... I haven't! I, uh... That will do. Let's not let ourselves get too worked up here, shall we? Everyone take a deep breath with me. In... And out. Better? Matsuda, Uchimura, I understand that you're concerned for the safety of Watatsumi Island. But before we make any decisions over whether this merchant is guilty or not, we must give him the chance to explain himself. If he's guilty, of course, there will be consequences. But if he's innocent, he doesn't deserve to be falsely accused. This is Watatsumi Island. We deal in facts, not opinions. Excuse me, sir. As you know, my subordinates have some concerns surrounding your commercial activity here. Perhaps you could explain your side of the story to help you reach a verdict. Of course! I can explain everything. <laughs> um, I, I'm a trader on the island, so naturally I built up some inventory. I was planning to hold off on selling until the prices went up, but then, um... Uh... <laughs> uh, um Oh, oh, but then I was robbed by the fatigue. Yeah, I guess so. They took everything. Yes. Now, you think about that. First, I lose all my inventory. Then I get treated like a criminal. <laughs> and why should we believe you? Um, so like, I uh, get Marcus all points when I do this. <laughs> why not? Hands. They're in this together. What? The Tenryo Commission are colluding with the Fatui now? This is the first I've heard of it. Ah, I suppose it is true. What's that got to do with me? What, the Tenryo Commission start colluding with the Fatui after the fighting's already finished? Hmm, seems unlikely to Paimon. We met a representative of the Kujo clan recently. It doesn't seem like he'd have the time to be colluding right now. But on the way over here, we accidentally on purpose overheard some soldiers mention the exact same thing. <sighs> Kokomi, do you know anything about it? It has been brought to my attention, yes. We are scheduled to begin peace talks with the Tenryo Commission soon. The Kamisoto clan has arranged for them to take place in a neutral location. Kujo, Sara, and I will be accompanied by our guards. We will use the talks to discuss future plans in detail. But just as arrangements okay. for the peace talks began to fall into place, I started hearing rumors of collusion between the Kujo clan and the Fatui. Uh, allegedly, their goal is to completely wipe out Watatsumi Island. If that's the case, then the peace talks are likely a trap. Even the Kamisato clan could be involved. Sir, are you Yeah, I don't know why it's happening. Problems. Yes, it's the truth. I, I swear. They stole my goods and then they oh, ran off my the edge, that's that's but I will. Very well. Mm. Uh, the potential ramifications of this incident are serious. We will retrieve your goods, and if everything is in order, it will prove your innocence. However, if we find evidence to corroborate the claims of collusion between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission, I expect you to fully comply with our investigation. Do we have an understanding? Yeah, yes, there we go. <sighs> Thank you, Your long. Matsuda? Uchimura? Well received, Your Excellency. Good. Now, Traveler, I mean, Captain of Swordfish Platoon Section 2. Would you join me in the investigation? <laughs> Good. I look forward to seeing how you've progressed lately. Uh, I also have a few new things to teach you. Alright, follow me. If we do find the merchant's goods in the hands of the Fatui, it'll prove he's innocent. Whatever's going on between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission, we need to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I just... 
freaking hiccups. Um, I'm just trying to... I do that because, um... Yeah, why not? Of course. Because, um... I'm not gonna do that and get, uh, three months in a row of Game Pass. No, I'm not gonna do that because what I'm hoping, uh, for, uh, is that, um, that I get. Like I'll freaking make it so I get Game Pass on October 20th. I'll skip uh, as we are sending for a little bit until like the freaking 20th or something like that. The terrain here gives us an advantage, and we haven't given away our Because, so yeah, I think I could beat, um, um, Wars of Rise 5 in 11 mm. days. I think we have three options available. Option one, take the king and its checkmate. The Fatui's presence in Inazuma is weak at present. Nothing more than a few scattered remnants. If we strike from above and take down their leader first, the rest of them will be hard pressed to put up a serious fight. Option two, hit them where it hurts. Over there, for example, a store of gunpowder cakes. If we manage to discreetly set the gunpowder alight without alerting them, it would deal them a devastating blow. They'd be caught completely off guard. Both their morale and fighting capacity would be severely impaired. Option three, Use the environment against them. We're close to the sea here, so the air is very humid. I can gather the water vapor. You add a or option four, and go down there and kill the everyone. Wow. That's our grand strategist. It's a lot to think about, though. Which option should we choose? That will depend on our assessment of our own abilities. A surprise attack from the air is the quickest solution. But requires superior combat skills. With an explosion, we could rapidly reduce their numbers without a protracted battle. But so I think I might play that again. Mafia too. We decide to take advantage of but, the environment. Uh, we should be prepared for a lengthy siege. So <laughs> there's the swordfish captain I know. Every confidence in your abilities. It's decided then. Let's fight this one together. I'm no warrior myself, but I can still provide some support. I certainly won't be dropping you into oh, the all by yourself. Oh, there's a freaking chest behind me. And retrieve the merchant's goods. I did a lot of chests. Like, um... Let's move out. Yeah, I've done like... Frickin how many chests? Like one thousand four hundred uh twenty one thousand four twenty Shut That's a lot of four twenties. And what's, uh, surprising is, um, I did more, um, extravagant chests and common chests. Well, I opened more extravagant chests. I think that's what they're called, extravagant chests.
Okay, fast. Okay, messed up. Oops. Crush. Well, he was freaking out of there. That wasn't quite what I call by the book. But it happens. Battles are complex things, and the situation evolves constantly. It doesn't always help to stick too rigidly to a predetermined plan. <laughs> Seems like as soon as the fighting started, the plan went out the window and we kind of winged it. And yet, the outcome is... But I'll uh, probably only play the last episode. Willingness to adapt. I must admit, I wasn't expecting to mission. find a Fatui laying low in a Hillichol camp. Presumably, they've been operating out of here in secret for quite some time. What's their objective? Are the soldiers right? Could they really be in collusion with the Tenryo Commission? Let's scour the camp for evidence. If the merchant's story is true, the inventory should be here. All right, time to take a look around. As like um, yeah, I'll probably only play the last mission of uh, that game. Because what I want to do Yeah, what I want to do is play this for two hours and scribble knots then an hour or so of uh, Mafia so 2. has any need of these items so the idea that he was supplying them doesn't make a lot of sense in all likelihood 
He's just an opportunist merchant. Nothing quite as scandalous as Matsuda and Uchimura had imagined. Uh, he's hardly a saint, though, right? How could he stockpile things that people are desperate for? We're not just gonna give them back to him and let him go, are we? Well, it doesn't feel right. Don't worry. I had already foreseen this. In my recently issued post-war temporary decree, I included restrictions on the prices of essential everyday goods. These items will ultimately reach the people at a reasonable price. If he had taken the time to read the decree, it's unlikely he ever would have ended up in this predicament. Kokumi, you think of everything! <sighs> I wish that were true. Take this alleged collusion between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui, for example. I'm still completely stumped. <sighs> the low energy doesn't exactly help. Uh huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Come on, let's take the goods back. It's not long now until the victory feast. It'll be a race against the clock to get all of this resolved before it starts. Got it! First we mend the peace, then we attend the feast! Um... Yeah, I think that's, uh, good enough. Uh, if I do two hours of this, two hours of scribble knots, and then an hour or maybe two hours of Mafia 2. I think that's good. Um, it's like I really want to be to yesterday, but holy cow, that freaking mission was long. And especially after freaking trying, uh, that one thing for like an hour. I didn't know it was that long. Holy cow. Yeah, I tried that one freaking thing for like an hour. I edited it down so it's like freaking barely anything, like 20 minutes. Probably even shorter than that. But anyways. Uh, it's not the best editing job in the world. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's really not even that great. Or that good at all. But it's like. At least I freaking did it. I had a figure out. Um, the twitch thing because like Honestly, I didn't know how to make uh, two separate clips on uh, on a uh, freaking Amazon or Twitch I mean But it's like you just make one segment then make another segment then anything that's not in those two segments are just automatically deleted. I thought it was the other way around. But I guess not. Um, where like... Um, anything inside the segments would get deleted. I guess it was the other way around. But, that was my bad. But at least I know that now. Um. Oops. Yeah, at least I know it now. So, uh, next time... It'll be like, whatever.
They cannot can lie. I was gonna give that up. Because, um... That was so bad. Uh, just quit. Very glad I didn't. Um, I quit the other thing, like, that I had to race to the house. Just because, like, I don't know. It's like, I didn't know I was just fighting a glitchy game. And obviously I wasn't gonna win that battle. If I had to fight a glitchy game, yeah, I was winning that at all. Um, but I should have kept that on there, but oh well, who cares. It just, it was just me silently freaking doing that. Oh well. I guess that's kind of why uh, I need to do that. Oh, why you should do that anyways. Uh, because, like, you don't always know what you're doing. It's like, because you're purely guessing. And that's what I just hate. That you're purely guessing what you're trying to do. Okay, so I have to do it this way then. Uh, how much do I have? 12.96, I think it said. Um. Um, I probably won't, um, how much do I have? 13, uh, near 1316 or something. Uh, So, yeah, that sucks. Um, I don't know if I should just throw once or twice. Oh, for that, because I have 50. Like I have, I think, 50 pity. Uh, so yeah, I kind of wasn't thinking again. Oh, so close, 10. I think only one more time. But I don't know why I didn't really 
like I could have rolled uh, the vent banner today, but like I just uh, haven't been playing this that much for the past uh, four days. I kind of uh, missed the uh, daily missions. Um, obviously I play just so I could, um, like do the, um, this event, but that's it. But yeah, freaking. Yeah, for how long I've been playing this game, I'm extremely happy. Because I play this game just a retarded amount of time. Um, put no money into it. Yeah, I didn't, uh, put a cent into this game. And frickin' I got that many hours out of this game. Uh, but, obviously I've been, there's a lot of frickin' grinding. So if you just don't care about the grind, I think there's about, I don't know how much, like 200 and My some God. hours hey, you got back, huh? of uh, you, Excellency. just unique you, gameplay, you see, I, I told you I was innocent. but even that so is sure. like, you the whole thing Ooh, with the um, gets me extremely <laughs> excited because I pay nothing for this. Had it been the case, then knowing how the Fatui operates, they would have left some evidence of it. Uh, but what if? No ifs, no buts. We've recovered the goods. As agreed, this is sufficient to establish his innocence. Man, I got so much entertainment out of it, even if though it's every six weeks, pretty much. Lay off me next time, got it? Sir, I'm afraid you're getting ahead of yourself. You may be innocent of the accusations originally leveled at you, but hoarding essential goods is a crime under the temporary decree. You must bear the consequences. You have already admitted to being the owner of these goods, so we are obliged to respond with appropriate measures. In addition to enforcing the sale of these goods at the accepted rates, there will also be a fine. The amount of which... Wait, 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 Your Excellency. Any, so you yeah, are... I didn't know I this was a cost exclusive as well as far, guys. We by the principle of clear and consistent rewards and punishments. Just as merit must be recognized, mistakes must be penalized. You may have been proven innocent of the more serious allegations leveled at you, but this does not exempt you from bearing the consequences of your mistakes. Wait a minute, I... but... Uh, well, don't just stand there. Take him away. Time to pay up. Your Excellency, he says all the goods belong to him, but it doesn't add up. Those of a Tenryo Commission emblem are probably his, but not the rest. Especially these ones. They're clearly for shrine use. Hmm. It seems the Fatui simply dumped all their stolen goods in one place. Leave the shrine paraphernalia to me. As for the rest, I'll leave you to sit through and try to track down the owners. I know, that's a lot to ask. Not at all, Your Excellency. We're on it. 
But if I may, Your Excellency, maybe there were no signs of collusion in this case. But our people know what they saw. Something is going on between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui. I know the peace talks are coming up, so please keep an open mind. I understand your concern. I'll be sure to give it further consideration. Hmm. I'm going to take these items back to the Sangonomiya Shrine. Why don't you come along for the walk? Watatsumi Island observes different customs than the rest of Inazuma. I imagine it must all seem a little alien to you. But, yeah, I guess, um, uh, it's obvious, but Sony has more of the single player games and Xbox has party games. There's been a lot to deal with recently. Uh, Next party time, or co-op games, whatever. And it just really depends what you like more. Single player or co-op or party. Slash party, I mean. It was close to the Statue of the Seven. Back then, the people of this island recognized the Shogun's existence, despite not venerating her as the Shogunate do. But after she struck down our protector deity, the shrine was abandoned. Relations between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate have soured ever since. Mistress and I don't know, I just like single player games more, so... I don't think I'll ever switch to Xbox. Like, sure, I tried it, and I uh, just really did not like it. Oh my, you're looking a little worse for wear. You need to take better care of yourself, okay? All of our fates depend on you. Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine. Your Excellency, I beg you, heed a word of advice. After all this time fighting the Shogun's army, peace is not something that can simply be declared. If we reconcile with them, the god who once protected us will have died in vain. Come on, that's ancient history. Besides, the fighting is barely over. We should be grateful to be at peace once more. I know, I know, it's just... Uh, we should remain strong in these negotiations. We mustn't be too ready to compromise. I appreciate your concerns. I will consider the options carefully, and be sure to proceed appropriately. Wonderful. We're all counting on you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency? Well, I'll be... Fancy meeting you at a place like this. Uh, do you know, my daughter's enrolled herself in the Shrine Maiden selection process this year. I if she makes it into Sangonomiya, oh, I'll be one very happy mother. You're a kind and gracious leader. She'd be in very good hands. I'm always telling my daughter that if she gets the chance to learn from Her Excellency directly, she must make the most of it. I mean, just look at Her Excellency, still so young, but so mature and intelligent. My daughter has always looked to you as a role model. Well, if she comes to Sangonomiya, I'll look out for her. Ah, Your Excellency. Boy, am I glad you're here. As you know, agricultural output has taken a pretty big hit this year. Let me bring you up to speed on the latest situation. Oh, uh, Your Excellency, isn't this the captain of Swordfish 2? Will she be based on Watatsumi Island from now on? Your Excellency! <sighs> yeah, so I wonder Please, what the cool next everyone. island is going to be. I'll get around be. to all your queries. Oh, uh, because I'm just curious. I prefer it if you could write a report and submit it to the shrine. Then I can respond to each one as and when I have the time.
<laughs> because are you all right? <laughs> I don't know. I <laughs> think that was cool. Exactly, huh? Your Excellency, here you are. There's been a situation. We're still waiting on the delivery of a whole batch of ceremonial items. I'm beginning to worry that they've been stolen. Oh, we retrieved those already. No need to worry. Really? That's fantastic. You never cease to amaze us, Your Excellency. I sorted through all the petitions received recently and placed them on your desk. Also, according to the schedule, you are just in time for your meeting today on the development of the textiles industry. That's today? Uh, right now? Yes, the two young ladies have arrived safely. We're just waiting for you. Hmm... I see... Uh, I was hoping to take a walk around the island with you. But it looks like we'll have to save that for some other time. Uh, well, let's rendezvous tomorrow at the entrance to Sangonomiya Shrine. And then we'll go and make preparations for the Victory Feast. Yay! The Victory Feast! Um, just to be clear, we're talking lots of delicious food, right? <laughs> That's the name of the game. There'll be some Watatsumi Island specialties, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. Great! See you tomorrow, then! <sighs> yeah, I do think that. If I did that, that was uh, a binge just a waste, I think. If I would have gotten, um... Lost judgment. Uh, so like I'm uh, thinking. Uh, freaking tickle. I don't know what it was tickling meant. My neck. God damn it. Um. So... Yeah, it's like there's nothing much to do outside of uh, this. Oh, uh, there's... There are these, but I don't know if I should do them or not. Oops. Uh, like, maybe if there was a really short one, I'd probably do it. Um... Okay. Yeah, there is a short one. Uh, this. Hmm. I just want to see if there is a shorter one. Oh, uh, no. Oh. 
No. Hmm. How about him? Is there a shorter one? Oh no. There's a bunch of these. Yeah, I guess I will do that with Diona. Uh, and just end uh, after. Because I did everything. Oh, there's more of these, but I do them later. Uh. Um. There we go. Because it's like I don't know, I'm kind of running out of games slowly but surely. But, I have more games that I just feel, don't really feel like playing them. Uh, what is it? Uh, search for the... Oh, the kitten. Oh, shoot. I uh, don't remember this goddamn cat is. <laughs> yeah, wasn't he like in a Stupid obvious place. Rookie curse. Uh um. So... Uh God damn, I don't have like a kitty door. Uh 
Um, Oh shoot, I can't do this one because I don't know where the freaking thing is. Um, I'll probably freaking come back and do that one later. It's like, it's just I don't know where it is. sucks it's so far away Yeah, who knew that, um... That that mission before would freaking go on for three Just hours. Just these weapons, I can tell they have great power. But this is the nation built by the Geo Archon, after all. Well, I wonder how Favonius blade work could be applied to these weapons, and what kind of modifications would be needed. Yes. And even though I'm just thinking through problems as I always do, I don't feel as nervous as I did when I was in Mondstadt. Hey! You over there! What are you doing? Huh? What's wrong, little boy? P who are you calling little boy? I'm a mighty warrior. I see you, with your strange attire, acting all mysterious, voiding around the Ironmongers. Yeah, you're up to no good. I'm not up to anything. Huh. You can't hide it from me. I see the way you look at those weapons. Same way I look at them, too. You must be planning to sneak over and steal a couple of blades when the man's not looking, huh? Well, I'm warning you. Quit while you're ahead. Stop before you do something you'll regret. Because if you get caught, uh, that man is going to yell at you. Um, what is that? Uh, she's a uh, knight of. She has her open what? Yes, that's right. In any case. My weapon of choice is the greatsword, and I don't see any of those here. Greatsword, huh? Well, you got one thing right. The man refuses to show anyone his greatsword in the store, no matter how many times you beg him. <laughs> Trust me, I would know. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I still don't think I can trust you, unless... Uh, that's not true. No greatsword can outshine the mighty Dugu Longsword. And one day, I'm gonna get my Geovision. So, uh, I'm not jealous. Who said anything about being jealous? <laughs> the cat is out of the bag. Okay. Uh, all right then, if you insist. Um, please be careful with them. Don't hurt yourself. You, you're really gonna let me have a look? Wow, you're so nice. Wow. That glow, it really is a geovision. And this sword is so heavy. Ugh, I can't hold it. Ugh, it's not fair. If only I were a bit bigger. Be patient, you'll get there. Besides, I'm sure your dream will come true one day. 
Uh, hmm. It's clear to me now. You bear a geovision. You wield a greatsword. You're a nice person for Mondstadt. You must be a fabled knight of Favonius. Uh, huh? Huh. I must accept that the knights of Favonius of Mondstadt live up to their name. But I shall not concede defeat. As surely as the hills are green and the rivers flow into the sea, our paths will cross again. Wait, I... Oh, he's gone. Well, I do hope there are no further misunderstandings today. Children and Leo will have these dreams too. I never would have thought. When I was little, the other Mondstadt kids and I always used to imagine what kinds of visions we would have when we grew up. I hope that someday this boy's dreams will come true too. Huh. Anyway, what's next? Should we visit Leola's Harbor or take a short break? Um, oops. Uh, the, what? The harbor, we may learn something. From the, whatever. Let's head to the third brown knockout then. Yeah, I think we went to the harbor before. Oops. Oh, right then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, that's cool. Yeah, I guess, uh, obviously I'll do this instead. Because freaking that cat, where the hell? Oh, you must be from Mondstadt. Looking at your outfit, you don't seem to be an ordinary civilian. In uh, there case, comes, here surely, we go again. You must be an illustrious knight of Favonius. Pardon my directness. My name is Iron Tong Tian. I was hoping that you could help me out. Oh, hold on. I'm really sorry. I am not yet an official knight, but just a maid of the Knights of Favonius. Uh, maid? Of the Knights? A maid knight. Oh, now that is genuinely intriguing. Miss, if you're willing to help me out, I have every confidence that you will provide me with infinitely more source material than any other knight could. As you can see, I have been a local storyteller here for a long time, and, well, my audience is starting to tire of hearing the same old stories over and over again. When I saw this young lady show up just now, I was quite awestruck by her. So much so that I was suddenly inspired by the idea of writing a new book. A Knight's Journey Through Liyue. However, inspiration is just the start. I still need some material to work with. Even the most ingenious storytellers don't just come up with stories out of thin air. I do occasionally hear anecdotes about the Knights of Favonius doing the rounds here in Liyue. But they're mostly unreliable rumors, with everyone telling a different story. Far better to find an actual knight. Oh, I finally skipped the line, but no. But I, I am still not a knight yet. Ah, uh, don't worry about all that. As the saying goes, the story should be inspired by life, but larger than life. As the storyteller, I can change a detail or two here and add some dramatic effect there, you know. Honorary knight, I'm a little conflicted. What should I do? Although I should always lend a hand to anyone in need, it would be dishonest for me to pretend to be a real knight. <laughs> you understand me. Miss, rest assured that I will not put you in a difficult spot. All I'm asking you to do is to come with me to the countryside and show me some of your blade work. Let me see something new. I'll fill in all the other details, all within reason, of course. <laughs> well, okay then. If it's just providing some initial source material. 
Yeah, I don't know. I really wonder when uh, they're gonna add more uh, hangout events. Of what they're doing, other stuff too, so who knows. Uh, they're doing other yeah, stories, and they're probably, uh, obviously designing new characters. I heard earlier from the so they're doing bunch of stuff. Havoc in the countryside. Ooh, let's head over there. This looks to be the place. Ah, oh, but it seems our timing is off. The hilly churls are nowhere to be seen. Oh, if the hilly churls are not around, does that mean you can't get any source material? Not necessarily. Look at all the things they left here. Miss, why don't you use your great sword to clean the place up? Cleaning up? Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. But the hilly churls could return at any moment. Mr. Tian? Find a safe this is obviously, okay. I would think, is his nice camp is yours. Like, oh, I don't want to do it. Can you do it for me? <laughs> this is good. I can work with this very nightly. Oh, you, you're taking notes already? Cleaning up a camp. I guess I do this kind of thing all the time. So it should be okay to include in your book. Wonderful. I'll call this one the Indomitable Sword of Favonis. Sensational. I will call that one the impregnable shield of chivalry. Hmm, yes. It's coming to me now. With the prescience of a prophet, the knight foresaw the precise moment of the hilly churl's return, and promptly warned the commoners to take cover. Now, she stood alone, as she drew her sword and strode forward to confront the enemy. Oh, this is all great material. Oh, it's just a pity that the only enemies are these hilly churls. Hmm, it needs a little more oomph. I've got it. Uh, would the two of you be able to give me some kind of mementos? Mementos? That's right, mementos. Though the story is a work of fiction, the more real it feels, the more engaging it will be. Some sort of battle trophy to display before the audience Ooh, would really seal the deal. Okay, um, so something like a hilly churl mask or an arrowhead? If it's all the same to you, uh, I was thinking more along the lines of uh, maybe a component from that ruin god. Is this what you meant by larger than life? It's what you meant by... Yes, you've got it! You really understand where I'm coming from. I've heard that there's a very common component in Ruin Guards called the, uh, Chaos Device? I, I should write down my new ideas before I forget them. Um, just hand the Chaos Device to me once you've managed to obtain it. There we go. Um... Oh, it's still not done yet? For some reason, I thought it would be. Oh, 
such mighty power, so battered and bruised. Mm. <laughs> I just need to embellish it a little further, and this will be perfect. Embellish it? Even further? Hmm. Well, as long as I have been able to help you with your creative process... Of course you have. Okay, I know where I'm going with this story now. Uh, I need to get back and start writing. Oh, and if the two of you have any free time later, uh, stop by third round knockout and you can hear me tell my new story. Oh, I wonder how Mr. Tian's story will turn out in the end. For some reason, I have a bad feeling about it. Why don't we go back to Leoa Harbor and listen for ourselves? Um... Oh, uh, where do we have to go now? Oops. Oh, back. There we go. With a roar like thunder, iron clashed with iron. Then, four gigantic fists came pounding into the ground with a force beyond what could be put into words. So colossal was their weight, and so earth-shattering their impact. Such unthinkable power could easily cleave a stone peak right off the top of a mountain. Any ordinary human would either be torn to pieces in an instant, or at the very least, suffer indescribable injuries. But not so the knight from beyond the border. What? She did not flinch in the face of the flying iron fists, but I don't know to a low that is. A telemarketer. Sweep of a sword. The like. clash of metal erupted once more. As dust billowed, 905. What is that? Later, there was a deep and dull yeah, I don't know. I guess it's telemarketer. To reveal, two pairs of iron claws lying lifeless on the ground. And like, Such what is area awesome code is that? Of the impregnable shield of chivalry. Oh, let's an see. esoteric martial technique practiced exclusively by the Knights of Mondstadt. The Knight barely had time to catch her breath before a dark shadow leaped up before her into the sky, blotting out the sun and turning day into night. It was a ruin hunter. But she was no ordinary knight, and in her heart she declared, I have nothing to fear. With an almighty battle cry, she unleashed the indomitable sword of Favonius. Beams of golden light shone out in all directions. A gust of wind raced through the battlefield. Sparks flew and debris fell. One night against two ruin guards and a ruin hunter? <laughs> Surely that must be an exaggeration. Uh, I suppose these stories are supposed to be taken with a grain of salt. This? About me? What is he talking about? Oh, no, this won't do. I must ask him to rewrite the story. <laughs> Hard to believe? Then feast your eyes on this. This is solid proof of the Maid Knight's journey to Liyue. A fragment of a ruined god's armor, cut from its carcass by a blow of her blade in the midst of her death-defying battle. That is part of a ruin guard. A friend of a friend of a relative in the Millith told me about these. Whoa. Oh, it, oh it's real, all right. Look at the cuts on it. Fresh from the battlefield. I, I must explain to Mr. Tien. 
honesty, modesty. These are the virtues cherished by the knights. Hey, would you look at that? That girl over there looks uncannily similar to the knight from the story. Oh, I'd say more than just similar. She's the spitting image. Oh, oh, should we get an autograph? Oh, it's definitely her. The legendary maid knight. Uh, huh? Um... Oh, okay. And so, the knight went west from Stonegate with her sword in hand and scaled the mountains of a vast new land. A legend from the moment she set foot in the U.S. Oh, Tales the 905 very code is in Toronto. Yeah, it's a freaking telemarketer. Stay tuned for the next chapter. Frickin' hate that I keep getting frickin' god out of markers. Um. Oh, thirteen thirty-six. So it just has four stars, not a five star. Um Yeah, I guess I ended there. Because I'm pretty sure I've done everything. Like all the commissions. Yeah, I did. So, I guess I'll exit and do script or not. Yo, I did 153. Close enough to two hours. Yeah, I'll do scribble knots for hopefully two hours. If not, then whatever. Um, then obviously I'll try to finish. Um, what's that? Mafia Two, but I just do Mission Fifteen, and that's it. Uh, hopefully it's an hour, not some freaking really ass, really short ass thing, like freaking like 30 minutes, that would be horrible. But, um, anyways, even if it is, I guess, uh, I will, uh, do one freaking... Um, one thing of the DLC, or maybe two, depending on the length. Yeah, because, yeah, I have the DLC, too. I could do in Mafia, too. So it's not all that bad. But, oh well. Um, but I'll stop blabbering and end. I just want to say thanks for all who did watch and all the good stuff. And goodbye. And now I'm thinking, should I do freaking that or that? And no, I was sick with scrib knots. And then, right? Ah, uh, screw it. I do mafia too, but I do um. 
I just do it in like 20, 30 minutes because I want to eat. Because yeah, I want, I rather do it in, uh, do two streams instead of three. So yeah, I'll do that. I'll, uh, freaking just, uh, press the share button and then act you saw. There we go.